and welcome to Azure Tech Forum. So today in this video, we are going to see how to connect a camera module to your Raspberry Pi. All right. So I have been talking about it for some time. Now today, I have received my camera, and this is a the, how the camera look module look like. So as you can see in my hand, this is this lens side, and then you have a ribbon, which we are going to connect it to our Raspberry Pi. And you can connect it to whether Pi 3 or Pi 4, doesn't matter. So you can see one side of the strip is this blue uh, blue line, which is facing the module. And the other side is, it's a little bit bright. I'm trying to show you, all right. You can see that they are the chip, uh, chip sides, right? So this is where the electronics uh, circuitry uh, will, will be done. So this will be essentially, will, will be connecting to the camera module all right so depends uh, on what kind of camera you ordered you may see the uh, uh, circuitry facing the lens or maybe other side of that lens all right so this is my raspberry pi i have kept it in uh, in a sealed case right uh, just to protect it from dust and other things right and i can place it in in uh, my closet as well but while you want to connect to the camera it's a good idea to first unplug the case, take it out from the case, because that will give you the flexibility because camera module is sitting, uh, it's a very thin module, right? And if, if you open it, then you will have more space to work on. But right now, what I'm showing you on my screen is the camera module. You can lift, please lift the pin gently from both sides. And as you can see, it started wiggling. That means it's, uh, it's now available to get large and don't uh, pull it uh, hard, otherwise you will break it. Just pull it up gently, all right? So now you have seen the camera module. This is the camera module. And on the right side, as you can see, I have my uh, HDMI port facing, uh, it's facing HDMI port, and that's the side you, you need to make the connection, okay? If you try to look closely, you will definitely understand that this is the side you have to make that connection all right so as i have shown, shown you on screen that's the chip and it is facing hdmi port okay don't worry about the lens at this point of time just try to make sure that you uh, connect it right okay and just press that uh, latch gently and you will feel a uh, tick that means it has latched properly. Now I have put my Pi back in the case and connected it with the power source. As I connected with power source, you can see the Raspberry, uh, Raspberry Pi camera module has a small LED and that got lit up. And that's what I'm trying to show you by covering it up so that you can see that light is glowing. That means camera module is getting power from my Raspberry Pi. All right, so we are good. Uh, with respect to the physical connection, now let's go to our Pi and try to enable the camera from OS and make sure that our camera is detected and we are able to capture images or capture videos from Pi command line, right? So that's what we are going to do as a second part of that. So hardware piece we completed. Now we are going to uh, work on. Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. So. Today we are going to update our Raspberry Pi camera video. As you can see, now the camera has a nice holder. That means you can position your camera and it's not flipping, right? Because uh, if camera is not stable, how you can use it? So I have ordered a case and camera is sitting inside the case. It is connected to Raspberry Pi using ribbon cable. All right, now I am SSH into my Raspberry Pi and we will see how to enable camera and how to verify if the camera is detected from there we are going to start using it so I'm using the command VC gen command get underscore camera we can see supported is one and detected is one in your case you may not see detected camera so if that is the case what you have to do you have to go to uh, Raspberry Raspberry config and enable the camera interface for that 
you do sudo raspy config and then from there you're going to say enable camera and it will tell you that uh, uh, under interface option you will enable camera and then uh, you go back and do the same command vc gen command get camera and you will see that detected equal to one that means my camera is connected and it is detected by raspberry pi now to start using the raspberry pi um, with camera you want to capture still images or video what you can use you can use raspi still that is for still images hyphen f that is for preview and then dash t or hyphen t and then you are specifying time, uh, a number that is millisecond so what i'm saying here is raspi f hyphen t 20000 millisecond so that the camera preview will be open for this much amount of time and if you have a screen connected to your Raspberry Pi, you can see camera preview and set it according to your requirement. So it, it is still not taking any picture. Hyphen F is only for preview. And let's look, um, as you can see, this is my preview. And I'm coming in the frame. This behind me, you can see my wall of fame, uh, three CCIs years of hard work so the preview will remain open for that much amount of time and it will close let's look at raspi still help and see what are the flags or options available for us to use with this command and you can uh, cancel the preview by clicking ctrl c anytime you want suppose you have given a large amount of preview time and you want to get rid of that simply use control c or a break sequence so now we are going to say raspi still dash dash help and it will list all the flags what are the flags available right you can see runs camera for a specific time and take jpg capture at the end of the request so that's what we have used that flag dash d you can see dash o that is for output you are specifying what kind of output you want and you will see uh, in next command we will use that option f is for preview so there are tons of flags available please read uh, read through it and see which uh, suits your need you can actually go ahead and uh, change the composition of your camera effect and etc so it's, this is very versatile now we will capture a single uh, image using raspi still t hyphen o and then the file name And pardon me if the prompt is uh, not visible here. Once we hit enter, uh, it will be shown. As you can see, Raspi still dash thousand, that is thousand millisecond, and dash O for output, file name, and extension. So it will open the camera, remain there for 1000 millisecond, and then click a picture. And once it click a picture, it is going to save that in the default uh, directory, which is in the home directory. And you can see wall of fame JPG item is created in, the, in that respective folder. We can double click and open it. As you can see, the camera was positioned to face the wall and image was captured so this is how you can capture still images now let's move on to uh, capturing videos and for video you are going to use raspberry vid for still images it's very intuitive for still images you are doing raspberry still for video you are doing raspberry vid and then 
amount of time t equal to 2000 that means this is the amount of time it's going to open the preview and keep on recording right you can keep recording forever but you can also specify that i want to record say uh, two second 20 second 50 second a minute or so or you can re start recording without t and then uh, close the recording using break sequence so it depends what what you're recording all right and now as you can see once the recording is completed the the item is created and you can open that and this is like one two two second of recording all right so this is all i wanted to show you how to connect raspberry pi uh, camera and how to start using that obviously uh, raspberry uh, if you want to see the preview all the time you need to connect a display to your raspberry pi because headless will not show you any preview so you are assuming that your camera is working fine just by uh, looking at the items it start creating otherwise i recommend you to create a mini display and start using your raspberry pi to full extent thank you